So hello there, so today I'll be talking to you about the fly agaric. So this is an iconic fungus which you'll recognise in the woods and even in storybooks, especially fairy tales as this mushrooms where fairies and goblins sit. So the fly agaric has a bright red cap and on the cap has small white spots and then underneath the cap it has a white girl. So the uh, stipe is the equivalent of the stalk in a plant and that's also white and it's also very brittle. So fly agaric can grow up to 20 centimetres uh, across and 30 centimetres tall, so it's very easy to see in the ground. And then it also produces white oval spores to spread and reproduce. So in well, wet weather, uh, these white spots that sit on the cap can be washed off the cap. And then as the fungus gets older, the cap flattens. So this fungus can be seen from late summer and it stays around till about early winter and can be seen in most woodlands but it prefers birch wood but can also be seen among pine and spruce trees. So it's common throughout Europe, Asia and North America and it's also been introduced to islands like Australia and New Zealand by having its spores on pine seedlings and then the pine will get planted and the spores will spread establishing the mushroom in those places. So fly agaric is poisonous and also known for hallucinogenic properties. So these hallucinogenic properties have been capitalised on as reindeer would consume these and they would suffer from the euphoric effects given when the Siberian people would eat the reindeer meat and experience the same euphoric effects. So this mushroom is also a symbol of good luck in Victorian times and was frequently featured on Christmas cards. And it's thought that the red cap of the fly garlic inspired Father Christmas's red suit. So this mushroom's also been used in agriculture, so it's traditionally used as an insecticide to kill flies uh, because it contains uh, ibotenic acid which attracts flies and then kills them. So the cap of the fungus would be broken up and sprinkled into milk and all the flies would come, drink the milk and then uh, be killed. Fly agaric also contains ingredients which affect the brain. So one of these effects can be the um, inhibiting of fear. So historians reckon that Viking berserker warriors would consume fly agaric and then would not know fear in the battlefield and be terrifying, unstoppable warriors for the poor people they were up against. So in the um, famous Mario games by Nintendo, the mushrooms Mario eats uh, are also based off fly agaric because. Uh, when people have hallucinated after taking fly agaric, uh, perception on item sizes has been distorted and then the mushrooms in the games also change object size. Uh, this mushroom has also appeared in many fairy tales, being the seat for goblins and fairies and also being consumed in uh, Alice in Wonderland. So there we have it, hopefully some interesting facts about fly agaric. So, as always, there'll be a link to my blog if you want to read what I've said, and on the blog there'll also be links to uh, sources where I got my information from. So hopefully if you're out in the woods, especially in autumn time, you'll keep your eyes open for this mushroom and hopefully you'll see it. So thanks for watching. See you soon.